Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Please like this video, share it everywhere, and subscribe to see more of awesome wrestling topics I bring to you on this awesome talk show all the time. Now, the article is in the description for you guys, as always. Now, officials were not pleased with this year's ceremony overall as they felt the show ran way too long and it wasn't exciting enough. And I was complaining about the show. This show went four hours and went way too long, you know. This was not a sh Hall of Fame. I was not entertained by it. You know, I feel, in my opinion, last year's Hall of Fame was way better. Now, they ran away too long, and it wasn't exciting enough. They were said, um, loved the Bush... They were, they were said, loved the Bushwhackers' speech. With the feeling it was a perfect mix of their characters and telling old stories. However, they were not happy with Medusa's use of adult language, and some were happy with how she put over Eric Bischoff. Regarding Shawn Michaels, he tore his prepared speech and was going off the cut when he inducted Kevin Nash. WWE officials were not happy with Shawn Michaels' use of the words strap and wrestler in his speech. Now, WWE officials asked several stars to cut their speeches short on Saturday night at 2015 Hall of Fame ceremony, including Kevin Nash, Shawn Michaels, and Ric Flair. Okay, so... This is a story that a lot of people, I know a lot of people were mad because Medusa said the B word, okay? She swore a lot, and she did the whole thing about Eric Bischoff. You know, listen, this is um, um, Alexander Blaze's opinion, you know? She has an opinion, she has a voice, and if she wants to put Eric Bischoff over, let her put Eric Bischoff over. You know, I don't have a problem with it. You know, WWE doesn't respect people's opinions. And she had a voice, she had an opinion on what she wanted to do and what she felt like. She felt like saying it. I don't think it's such a big deal. Now, the whole thing with Shawn Michaels, you know, Shawn Michaels, man, he got heat. Um, Reduce... Uh, I'm going to say Medusa and Shawn Michaels got big heat. Shawn Michaels came out and tore off the paper. You know, because you know what? In my opinion, Shawn Michaels doesn't need a uh, scripted speech. Okay? Shawn Michaels should be able to say whatever he wants to say, whatever is on his mind. This is Shawn Michaels. I don't think this is such a big deal about what Michaels did. You know, I know he's getting heat for it. But you know what? I'm standing by Shawn Michaels' side, and I'm sticking by his side. Because in my opinion, Shawn Michaels should be able to say whatever he wants to say. I don't think it's such a big deal that he has to get so much heat for what he did. You know, it's not a big deal, WWE. You know, stop blowing heat on him all the time. It was, he felt saying whatever he wanted to say. I don't know. It's just my opinion. But ladies and gentlemen, now it's your turn. I need your best comments. I need your best opinions. How do you feel about this, that Shawn Michaels and Medusa are getting heat? Now, I can understand how um, Alendra Blaze said the B word, you know. That's, she shouldn't be saying that, the B word. But that's wrong. She should, she should have had said that because when I heard her say that, I was like, you know, there's kids out in the crowd watching this, you know. So I think she should have. Um, I can understand why she has heat because of that. But what Shawn Michaels is getting heat for, that's totally wrong in my opinion. So your comments, your opinions, guys. Follow me on Twitter at Wrestling Talk Show. Go like me on Facebook, Wrestling News. I'm going to put it in the description for you guys. And go subscribe to my friend, Anything Go Show. He's an awesome guy, makes awesome topics all the time, and has a great, awesome show just like I do all the time. So until then, thank you all for viewing. Hope to see you on the next. Hope to see you on the next one. Subscribe.